All right, so I think I'm going to start with this one, Blind Hole Barrier. Because this is the one that seems to give people the most problems, I guess. I saw one guy, um, I think it was the Nick and Time channel. He was trying to get that guy out, and he was doing all kinds of stuff. Like, he was building tools and all kinds of things. But, um, I can probably get this out. I mean, one way of getting these blind holes out is by using bread or grease, wet newspaper, and packing it in here. You can keep packing it in. You can pack it in there with a socket, and it'll actually push this bearing out. But that's not going to work so well, because it actually has like an oiling hole right here. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the slide hammer a shot. Now, this is a, uh, this is a slide hammer I keep here at home. It's not the one I use at work. Uh, it's, it's... If you have a Cherokee and you don't have one of these and you do all the work yourself, you need to get one of these. This is the Harbor Freight one. It's cheap and it's it's pulled all the bearings out of you know out of the, the rear axle no problem. It's pulled on a bunch of shit that you know I, anything I needed it to do it's done. I mean it comes with it doesn't come with this is, this is an old craftsman for but they don't sell anymore. That bitch is badass um, the way it's shaped, but you can tell it's old because look it, it has this. Kind of funny end on. Anyways, um, it comes with. Uh, I don't know how. So, um, no, I actually got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link for it. I didn't get it on Amazon. This is the Nico one. Uh, five pounds. So five pound slide hammer adapter. Adapter. This uses the jaws. You can take the jaws off on here. Um, this thing's really handy. Hook. This is for doing like, uh, body work. Do body work with this guy. So, um, the body work adapters. Anyway, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Confident I'm holding it out without any struggles. But basically, the way this thing works is it has this sliding adapter ring here. It's shaped a certain way. You can turn these things inside out, do a bunch of different things, and you tighten it down, it makes the, the, the cooler do stuff. That's how it works. Oh, Alright, yeah, so getting it in here is the fun part. And it has a, I might have to take these, kind of cut it up and take these, uh, these rollers out, but I, there's a little lip down there where the rollers are. I might be able to get it. All you gotta do is just make sure it's in evenly and tighten it up. As tight as you can get it. It's kind of tricky because the hammer wants to move. Turn it in a little bit. I'll help it out a little bit. Should loosen it up a little bit. Let me see. Hopefully you can see that. You can see a whole lot of my shit. Go straight as you can. So this is five pounds, so it doesn't take much much power. And it's actually, you see how it's moved up to that top lip. This is probably gonna take a couple times to get it right, but see how it kind of works. So I might have to cut these out and be able to get it to grab. Let me try something else.
It's starting to come out. And the way I had to use the tool is, I didn't really want to use it like this. Hopefully the camera focuses on that, but the, uh, the threaded part ends up touching these fingers and spreads them out. Grabs it really good. No damage, no weird shit, nothing wrong with the back of it.